Hey, it's Simon here, and I'm up on the Siron chairlift in Marion Grand Massive. I've got to be honest, conditions today are a little bit yuck. There is rain down low and up high is cloud. So the plan for today is to do one of my old videos, but do it better. And one of my most popular videos on this channel to date is where I compared Chroma Pop to Prism to Sonar. Now, that was a few years ago and technology has uh, improved or changed. So today I'm going to be comparing uh, Anon's Perceive lenses to Smith's Chroma Pop lenses to Spy's Happy Boost lens and see which one is the best in low light conditions. Just an FYI, these goggles, the Outdoor Master Falcons, I will not be including in the comparison. The reason being the low light lens that I'm wearing has a 91% VLT, which is significantly higher than the other goggles. So it's not a direct comparison. But later in the winter, I will be receiving a more similar uh, lens and I'll be happy to update you on how that is in low light conditions when I receive it. Okay, so the rules are simple for this comparison. It's one run on the same run with each goggles and let's see what they look like in this low light conditions. Hey, okay, let's go. Smith, Coma Pop, Storm, Pink, Flash. And initial impressions are really nice you can see a lot of context in the snow everything is clear that pink now that it's been on my face for a minute or so has disappeared and it is clear as day this is what i'm looking at So I'm wearing this Chroma Pop lens on the Smith Squad mags, but it is available in their other goggles as well. It's worth noting that they also do a Chroma Pop Storm Yellow Flash, which is a higher VLT, 65%, and that would be really nice on white out low light days as well but this no complaints Woo. and we're here at the lift so Thoughts on Smith's Chroma Pop, uh, really nice for these low light conditions, absolutely beautiful, but let's see how it compares to one of the other lenses. Okay, so we're up at the start of lap two, the exact same position as before, and I've got the Spy Marauders on with the, I'll get this the wrong way around, but I'll put it correct on screen, the Happy Boost Coral Red Spectrum Mirror Lens, which is a 54% VLT. So it's going to let in about 4% more light than the Smith Chroma Pop that we've already looked at. Let me show you what it looks like when you look directly through the lens. So initial impressions are this. Uh, it has a similar look uh, with the lens tint to the Chroma Pop. The Chroma Pop was a pink, slightly darker. This is a red, which was slightly lighter. Uh, you would expect it to be lighter because the VLT is higher. So as soon as that pink has cleared from my eyes now, uh, it is pretty bright in here. Uh, so hopefully you saw that when I put uh, the lens against the camera. I should also say that when I am wearing each of these goggles, I am wearing them uh, using my prescription insert so I can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, time to go. Just as I head off on this lap, I just want to remind you, if you find value in my content, uh, you can support the channel by buying me a coffee. There is a link in the description. Off we go. Okay, so initial thoughts. Do you know what? I actually think, although there is more light in this goggle, I think the Chroma Pop uh, actually gives you more boost of context. Seeing the little uh, bubbles and variations in the snow. This is what I'm looking at. And although it's very clear, don't get me wrong, 
there is no problem with what I'm seeing through this lens. I don't think it is as good as the Chroma Pop lens, and that is despite it having 4% higher VLT. Beautiful run, by the way. This blue down in Marion. Woo! Here we go. So, my thoughts are that this is an exceptional lens. Don't get me wrong. But if I'm comparing it directly to the Chroma Pop lens that I've just worn, I would have to say that the Chroma Pop on this lap, on this day, in these conditions, has won true. But we've got one more lens to try, and that is Anon's Perceive lens. More information on that at the top. So the glaring omission probably from this comparison video is that there isn't a prism goggle from Oakley. Now the long and short of it is that most of the equipment that I use on this channel I actually buy using my own money and I don't think that given my experiences with Oakley in the past that their goggles have represented value for money for me. Now, if somebody wants to lend me one or if Oakley did want to send one, I would be interested in trying the high pink uh, because based on the feedback and comments from the original comparison video, people said that that would be a perfect uh, low light lens. But for now, uh, that's not the scenario we're in. So I'm afraid you'll have to make do with the happy lens, chroma pop and perceived lenses. Okay, so we're back, same spot again, next lap. Uh, wind is starting to pick up, cloud is still coming down, lower into the valley, and I've got the Anon Sinks with their perceived cloudy burst lens. This is what it looks like when you look through it, and it is a 59% VLT. Similar to the previous two lenses, uh, you'll see that it has a orangey ready tint. Let's go, let's see what it's like, because my first impressions Ah, oh, that it is really nice. It's holding a little bit of that, oh, there we go, orange tint a little bit longer than the other two. The others went clear pretty quick, but here we go. Yeah, that's nice. You can see lots of the context in the snow. Again, this is the same run. This is what I'm looking at. And what's nice about this lens, I know it's got a higher VLT, so it is going to let in more light than the other two. But the Perceive, which similar to Chroma Pop, similar to Happy Boost, is a blue light filter. It is currently making the snow really clear. You can see all of the context. And this is a lens that I really like. I'd be interested to see this lens compared to the Chroma Pop Storm Yellow Flash, because that's a 65% and this is a 59, whereas the Chroma Pop lens I tested was a 50 and this is a 59. But this lens is a winner for me. If you whew, stay tuned for a minute, I'll get to a table and do the roundup. Here's my final thoughts as the snow starts to come down in Marion. I think in first place I'm going to have to put uh, the Perceive lens from Anon. I know that it had a higher VLT. I do think that this is still a fair test because 59, 50 and 54% VLT, they're all in that 50% range. Um, and VLT wasn't the winner because I would also put Chroma Pop uh, in second place above the Happy lens. Uh, they are all absolutely fantastic. Um, I have no bias. I had to buy them all with my own money. So I hope that that has been helpful to you. If it has, um, please be sure to subscribe. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video.